right, hey guys, Doug here. So, I recently picked up a few of these lithium power LifePo4 12 volt drop in replacements from Battery Hookup. I seen them pop up and I was like, you know what? I'd like to get a few of those and do some testing. So, they say they're rated for 32 amp hours. You can see that there without the glare. Sorry about the light. I have another project on my main bench and I am using my dirty table here to do this video. So what I'm going to do is I've seen somebody already got to it and dismantled one of these. And when they dismantled it, it showed that it had 26650 cells in it, which were which are similar to these cells. These are full rivers, 3300 milliamp hours. So these things are full of these cells about 40 of them to make 12 volts and a 60 amp BMS these were used from what I understood in medical uh, I guess crash carts kiosks that the nurses would uh, push around so that they could be mobile so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I've charged these all the way up, tested the voltage, they came at a pretty good state of, state of charge. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put one of these on this tester. You can see it's all zeroed out. Now I'm going to see how many amp hours that these pull after they've been used for a while. So I'm going to put this on. This tester only does about 150 watts at max. And uh, so take a few hours to do this test. Of course, you know, the video will be shorter. So I'm going to hook this up. First, let me take the positive terminal off. If I could get it back in, looks to be. When they ship these, they put some packing tape over the terminals. I'm assuming to try and insulate them. Let me get this all nice and screwed down here. So it has. All right. So now it's time for the negative. So before I uh, screw down the negative, I'm going to take my resistor here and charge up the capacitors just so that there's no spark or anything when I put this down. There might still be. Nope. Excellent. So. I've got a reading. Get this nice and tight so it gets a good firm. Alright, so now I've got a reading of 13.9 volts. I am going to take this up and start discharging. 34 watts. 56. I'm going to let it run at 110 watts or 8.23 amps until it's done. And then I'll get the results, the results of this unit, and then we'll move on to test this unit.
they're the same exact ones I got four of these but I'm only going to test two to give an idea of where the batch sits my goal is to possibly throw this into a 48 volt system or I'll just leave them as 12 volts and use them for camping I'm not sure yet but when I do do a full system with these I will you know make a video and post it so the results will be coming up shortly all right back here and the battery before the BMS shut it off for low voltage pulled or just pulled 31.28 amp hours and that's from this battery and remember this is a used battery from battery hookup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this module on charge and then set up for this module to discharge to see if this one will be consistent with this one swap these batteries over. I'm going to get this one charging on a little hobby charger and just let it charge slowly. Did drain it all the way down to the BMS's shut off. my hobby charger is not doing so good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here I'm going to hold this down clear these out and we're going to start all over again on the second one one I'll do 110 watts and then we'll be back to see if the results are around the same okay so we're back this one the second unit only seemed to give us about 26 point two two amp hours or 328 watt hours however the one we tested that gave almost full capacity took in 33 amp hours 
So this one is doing well. This one is coming in at 26 amp hours, which is still pretty good. Um, what I need to do is write this down. Here's my pen. 26.22 amp hour. So 30 on that one. All right. I want to test the third one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a third one up here. And these have all been pre-charged. Mind the sparks, guys. I'm still pulling amperage from the tester, so hence the sparks. Be careful. Be safe. Shouldn't be able to shock you, but anything is possible. So, we're going to put this one up here. Get it all connected up. Then I'm going to take that other one and get it on the charge. Make sure. All right, so the third one is on. I am going to crank it up. Test it. We'll do it at about 8 amps, just like the first one. I'm going to get the other one on charge and then I'll be back. So, oh my god. Sorry about that. I almost sat on a big battery. It does not work that way. Okay, so this battery, the one that I just put on the tester, finished off and finished off at 22.10 amp hours. So I'm kind of taken by that one that's pretty low but it's possible that this one got used more so I'm gonna have to go through and test all these now and see where they all stand and uh, charge them up real good too and whatnot um, this one the one that took 26.22 amp hours is still charging on this it's taking in 30 13 amp hours and it's still got a little bit of time to go so I'll let that go and um, yeah I'm going to uh, get the fourth one up here going and see how much that one has in it now So, the third battery tested came back at 
30.23 amp hours or 379 watt hours. The battery that we tested at 26 amp hours is so far now up to 27 amp hours in its charging. This battery back here stopped charging for some reason. So I'm going to say without testing the last battery that they're going to be roughly 26 to 30 amp hours a piece. Um, not bad. I'll get these configured up into a system for the next video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.